Hello guys, and welcome to uh, my latest video on Patreon. This is the video where we're going to freehand the uh, flesh terror symbol on this shoulder pad. Um, now on the on the wet palette here, you'll see I have well, you can just see <laughs> in the corner of the wet palette, um, you'll see that I have um, a Vallejo pale grey blue. That is just a it's just a pale pale grey paint. Uh, you don't really have to worry about. Uh, which one exactly? Um, the Vallejo ones, uh, the Vallejo paints that I use, I, I, I quite like because they're they're very opaque, so they they cover very well. Um, but uh, you'll see we're kind of sketching out the position now. The first the first line that I put down there was the vertical center line, uh, so that I'm making sure that that this is going to be in the center of the. Uh, shoulder pad uh, from a horizontal point of view. So finding the finding the center, finding the center, and then putting that that uh, that vertical line down. Um, the next one was uh, obviously the one that went horizontal. So trying to kind of sketch in exactly how high I wanted it as well. Um, and you'll see that this is uh, I'm, I'm starting off and making it a small. There we go. Move the move the wet pad now. Start off making it a little bit smaller. Um, and then we go around here and we just add and add and add until we get it right. Um, so always try when you're doing um, freehand like this, always try to kind of break break the shape down into um, into some uh, registration points sort of things so that so the, the cross in the center uh, helped to uh, to place it. And now we're just kind of adding very, very simple uh, lines in. To create the shape. Now, one of the other things that you need to do uh, when you are doing freehand is make sure that you have a cur a, a proper reference, um, because um, as you'll see as we get round here, I do eight eight teeth on this, and I think it should probably have ten. Uh, one, two. So uh, I do uh, I do four four uh, top bottom so at, um, at 12 o'clock three o'clock six o'clock and nine o'clock um, and then halve those again so I do another four um, I think you could probably add uh, in there uh, a another eight as opposed to another four so you can just extend them a little bit more um, so this next color on that we've put on there uh, that is uh, where's the paint uh, it's grey. It's Vallejo white grey. Um, again, it's just a, it's just a paler. So I want to, you want to be using three, three colours here. Uh, you want to be using a pale grey, a, um, a white, and then a grey that's between the two. And all we're doing here is we're we're adding a little bit of a highlight to, um, to the shoulder pad to the to the to the icon. Uh, so where the light would be catching it. You remember how we did the spot highlight on the. On the shoulder pad itself, um, so we're just going to add that uh, that highlight to the top edge of the top edge of the uh, symbol as well uh, as we're building it up. And this is where we're going to start sketching again um, the position of the teeth. So we start off and we get uh, the 12 o'clock, the 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock and the uh, 9 o'clock. Um, so again it's just it's just doing little registration things so that we know exactly where it's going to be and how they're going to space out. Try and try and do them as broad as you can. So if you were doing like an ultramarine symbol for instance you would be uh, sketching out the top of the U, the bottom of the U, um, like the position of them and then joining the lines together. Um, make sure uh, I'm using a I'm, a I'm using a new brush here. Uh, it's only a size one, so it doesn't need to be tiny. Um, but uh, it's very important that we don't have too much brush on the uh, too much brush on the paint, too much paint on the brush. Uh, so you'll see my my thumb is very very painted, always wiping off the excess. Um, trying to get trying to get the right position so that you can do these uh, do all of these. Uh, you always want to be p pulling downwards, really. Um, that's that's the easy way. That's the the comfortable way of doing these lines. So you're kind of swapping the model around and changing it all over the place to try to get those in position. 
So now we've got those, uh, like I said, uh, once we've got the, the 12, the 3, the 6 and the 9, um, you could add um, two between two lines between them, so just third it rather than halve it, um, and then do exactly the same as the with these little uh, the little triangles on the back. So freehand like this is all about breaking breaking the uh, breaking the shape down, like I said. So don't try to do too much all at once. Um, so we're doing the back triangles now and then coming up uh, we're going to add very very simply uh, a little hook um, to make the uh, the curved sawtooth um, on the front um, you want to make sure that um, one of the one of the reference photos that I did look at I made sure that I got the uh, the teeth going the right way so they're cutting cutting as they're going forwards as they're spinning as it's spinning forwards um, I did wonder about putting some blood splatter on this as well um, to kind of keep the the context for the model, um, but uh, ultimately I decided not to. I tried to keep it clean. So there we go. That's um, that's ultimately the the the, the very simple um, sketching out and laying out of it. And now all we're going to do is we're just going to refine it. Um, so we're going to put some little curls and ticks. Um, make sure the, uh, the the paintbrush you always want to make sure that you've got a damp paintbrush um, so the, the body of the paintbrush, the, the, the majority of the paintbrush is, uh, needs to have a little bit of water on it uh, so that it is keeping the uh, keeping the, the paint on the brush a little bit wet uh, so that it flows off nicely um, and these little ticks, they're, they're almost like little dots, we're, we're putting a dot right on the end and then just pulling the brush away uh, towards us very very slightly. Now these these kind of things are uh, it's, a, it's a really good little a uh, practice to do really. Um, it's a good good for brush control. Uh, it's really good to to kind of prove to yourself that you can do things like this. So uh, it's like a little dot, and then just drag the brush very very minutely backwards uh, towards yourself to to create that line. Um, and this is still this is still with just that uh, that mid grey. Uh, we're going to go back in uh, with some white in a second, and uh, and really pull pull some of the contrast coming up to it as well. And making sure the uh, making sure that the, the white is actually all covered, and uh, just adding a little bit more of a highlight to uh, to the top side of the saw, because the saw is going to be painted. It's going to be painted on. Uh, uh, on the armor itself, um, so it was going to be, it's going to be reacting the same to the light that's hitting the model. So that uh, that highlight that we did on the shoulder pad is going to carry on uh, onto this, onto this symbol that we're painting here as well. So um, the reason why uh, I don't have the white uh, on the wet palette yet, um, so I think I'm going to go and get it now. There we go. Um, is I I wanted this to uh, when 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 I'm working with white you need to water it down a lot um, and I wanted to use this white because I hadn't used it before um, and I was a little bit worried that it was going to separate a bit too quickly um, so again this is watered down probably another twenty percent further uh, than the other greys um, so I just had it fresh rather than having it sitting on the wet palette for a little while while I was doing the rest. And uh, this is just going to carry on that highlight that we were talking about on the the, the nice grey spot, uh, spot highlight on the shoulder pad. Uh, so this is just going to carry this on, carry that on uh, over onto the onto the symbol. So this the top left corner of this symbol is going to be pure white. Um, just just uh, it's like I said, it's very very thin down. Uh, so this kind of stippling specular. Um, addition to uh, to the thing is um, is adding a little bit of texture and uh, interest to the to the uh, chapter symbol as well. Um, make sure that you also carry on the white onto the uh, onto the teeth as well. So that tooth um, just above the paintbrush there, I've, I've I've dragged a little bit of white onto that as well. So um, Mephiston Red is going to be the base color. For the um, for the blood drop, uh, but before we do the um, before we do that, uh, we're going to get some black on there first as well. So uh, it's just Abaddon black. Uh, we're going to sketch on 
sketch on again, we're going to start off with a registration line. Uh, so we're going to find a nice line right in the center. We're not going to do it too high. We're not going to do it too. Uh, we're not going to do it too long, so it comes too far down. Um, so that we can then add width to it as we go. So that's that's we're just trying to get a registration line in the center, and then we can build uh, the drop on the bottom. Uh, so I I added a drop uh, a drop size to the bottom there, and then dragged it down from the top uh, and kind of join join the lines together. Uh, and again, I'm just making it ever so slightly larger and larger and larger um, every time with every brushstroke. Um, so I'm not trying to not trying to do the ultimate outside line straight away. I'm just making the uh, just making this mark um, larger as I go along. Um, especially because it's on white as well, and we don't really want to be uh, making a mistake here and having to go back in and cut into it with white. Um, although that is something we do right at the end, but that's for a different reason. So just making sure that's a good coverage. That's a couple of. Uh, it's a very thin down Abaddon Black again, uh, just so that it runs off the brush very, very smoothly. Uh, it's probably one to one, so 50-50 water to paint. Um, I, I, the um, the little pots, uh, dropper bottles that I've got my paint in, I tend to, uh, tend, you can tend to squeeze out a drop and then fill your brush with water, and uh, you get a, a good 50-50 mix in there. Um, so now that's all sketched out, uh, we've made it wider, um, just made sure that it was equal on both sides, and that was what the addition and the little added, uh, adding around was doing. Um, I'm just blowing it to, to, to dry the paint off there, just taking it off camera to blow it a bit. Um, and then we're going to go in with Mephiston Red. So Mephiston Red, uh, it's it's one of the best paints that Games Workshop do, Mephiston Red. It covers beautifully, it's a really nice tone to it. Um, and again, it's watered down a little bit, so we can use a translucency of it when it's watered down to try to bring a little bit of a highlight towards the base. So we want the top, uh, that top there, that's going to be slightly darker because I'm dragging the paint away from it. Um, and then the bottom of the drop is going to be uh, slightly more saturated in red um, because that's what we want. Basically, we want it to be a, a brighter, brighter red down at the bottom. That's where we're going to do the little jewel dual style on there. Uh, you can see on the wet palette as well next to the red, next to the Mephiston red, uh, we have some flash gets yellow and that's what we're going to... Um, I don't actually have very many orange paints. The orange paint that I've got is uh, Fiery Orange from Vallejo so I tend to mix mix a little uh, uh, orange a little bit too regularly. So a little bit of flash gets yellow, it's about 50-50. Maybe a little bit more flash gets. Um, but you can you can uh, kind of uh, fix that and uh, and adjust to your liking as well. And uh, w this highlight is going on the right hand side, so we're going to highlight this just like you would a um, a gem. So we're going to highlight it on the right hand side, and then we're going to put a little white dot on the left hand side. Now we've done the we've done the orange on there, and then we're just going to get a little bit of uh, of wet. Um, uh, flash gets yellow and we're just going to kind of wet blend it together on the model there uh, pulling it down on that right hand side to highlight the to highlight that side of the gem and once that's been sketched out we're going to go back in and we're going to try and get this lovely little white dot now I make unfortunately I make a little bit of a mistake here um, because the white dot uh, I try to place that white dot on the on the left hand side and I smudge it very very slightly off the edge <laughs> So that what the white dot is not quite in the correct position, um, but uh, there you can see the white. I think I think I go back and, and just touch it up again in a second. But uh, yeah, that little white dot um, just kind of tidies that up. So um, the next part, uh, this is the last part, and all we're going to do is we've got um, the the white grey and the white again uh, on the palette. Um, and I'm just going to cut in to the to the black outline um, just to smooth it out. Um, it's when you're making an outline with black like that. If you're trying to make an outline um, and you're painting the inside of it, um, it's very difficult to make it a very very crisp outline. So it's much better to make the outline and then cut back into it 
with the color that's on the outside so in this case that color's white um, or, or gray as it is here so I've got the gray which I'm cutting cutting on the uh, the left hand side of it and then on the front side where that highlight is that we placed I'm going to cut into it with white and this is just kind of neatening up the um, the blood drop um, it's very very simple very very quick process uh, it doesn't take very long at all but it just uh, if you look at the if you look at the blood drop occasionally you can see like a little stray hair that's just just wobbled a little bit or maybe you weren't quite uh, quite uh, neat on the uh, uh, in this case it was on the bottom of the blood drop uh, there was just a tiny little nick where the black came out and creeped out so this is just neatening up neatening up those edges and cutting into it and making it nice and neat there we go nice crisp nice crisp um, flesh terror blood drop um, on a uh, on a spinning saw blade um, just going back in and adding a little bit more of a highlight just to just to pull that white a little bit brighter and there we go thank you very much guys I hope you enjoyed that full series um, I'm going to finish off the backpack uh, and I will post a finished photograph for you uh, uh, later on thank you very much and I will see you in the next video